Hey, it's Anna. This is becoming a bit of a habit now because every time I sit here and do my spiritual practices of like meditation and yoga and stuff, I feel called to like so many thoughts and ideas come up. I feel called to sit down and talk about it. So I feel like this is literally just turning into a huge habit of daily getting on camera and chatting to myself. <laughs> But lately I've been feeling kind of almost like isolated because I feel like when you start to go inwards and you start to like develop your own practices and pay attention to your thoughts and pay attention to everything internally, it can almost make you feel separate from the external world especially if you're surrounded by people that aren't doing the same thing or that don't share the same views as you you know like if they're not really on the same path and not looking to at least better themselves at all or even like to the extent that you might be because obviously people can be looking to better themselves in like their financial situation or something like that but they may not be trying to do it spiritually like and going fully within they could just be trying to change their external reality so when you're surrounded by people that aren't really doing it to the intensity that you are or the dedication that you are it can feel really isolating and a bit almost lonely but not really lonely but I guess kind of lonely <laughs> because even when you talk to so many people you could see so many people and you can still feel isolated you know like you can have tons of people around you and still feel like you're alone in this and like you don't relate to anyone you can't connect with anyone because they won't understand they're not doing what you're doing so like it it kind of creates a lot of separation and a lot of isolation but I'm realizing because I was just meditating on it because that's what I've been feeling lately so I decided to meditate on it and it kind of reminded me that even when you feel separate like we we know that we're all a part of the all and all that 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 there literally is you know the all is all that there is so if we're all a part of that and we're all interconnected with the fractal code and it's all one consciousness then we can never be alone like alone is not something that you could ever be at all and i realize now that it's not even about being connected to everyone that's here on earth like we are connected to everyone that's here on earth and we've all come here for our own mission and some people have come here to play the role of being asleep you know and to stay asleep like that's the role that they came to play but then beyond that we're also connected to our higher selves our subconscious the all whatever you want to call it and our ancestors and our spirit guides and all of these beings that aren't here on the physical plane like there's beings that are literally just pure light like they're light energy they're light beings so they, they don't have a physical form and like it's hard to kind of comprehend when we're here in this reality it can be like what the fuck do you mean light beings you know but like there's so many different beings in different vessels or without vessels or different vessels to what we would call a vessel here in earth you know like there's just so many beings that we're all interconnected with because this is not the only reality this is not the only planet this is not the only universe you know so there's just so much that we're connected to that we don't even realize and we can't even see while we're here and restricted by this vessel but then even beyond that like you exist in many like infinite possibilities you exist in infinite realities when you think about timeline jumping and you think about the fact that like anything is possible and you can go in any direction that you want and it creates a new possibility like all of those exist any possibility there's another reality where you married a different person or you had a child at a different age or like infinite possibilities and they all exist so you're connected to so many versions of yourself you know like even the previous version of you from a year ago you're still connected to that version of you 
and that also means that you're connected to the future versions of you too because they're all happening right now in one space there's no like separation from past present and future it's not linear it's not a thing that you need to get to it's already happened it's already here so it's like you could never be alone not only in the physical realm but the fact that you're connected to so many versions of you and you can go and meet them in your dreams every time that you go to sleep you can meditate on it and go and meet them you can go and hug your higher self you know like you can literally visualize that happening and it's real because you make it real because you've decided that it's real and that's what's happening and that's what you want to do you know so it's like no, I'm starting to see this from the bigger picture of the way that we really perceive separation and, and like the divisions that are here, you know, with race and sex and sexual orientation and all of these things. It's literally such an illusion because of the fact that like there's so many beings that exist and we've probably played so many of these other beings like you've probably been some of them which means you are them right now because of the fact that it's not linear so it means that all of these beings that you've been all of these past lives in different universes different planets different realities it's all happening right now so how could you ever be separate how could you ever be alone how could you ever be just you like it's not just you it's not just your mission you've come here to achieve your mission but so has the person next to you, you know, and they are you. They are a reflection of you because we're all a part of the all and they're there to show you something. Otherwise, they won't be in your reality. So you're never, ever, ever, ever alone. And even when it feels like you are, you can literally go into your dreams and into meditation and connect with all of these other beings. You can go to other planets in your dreams like you literally can. And we always try to diminish imagination like especially in children they always are like oh they need to grow up like why are they living in fantasy land that's not realistic they can't possibly do that and all of this shit but the imagination is the most powerful tool that we have that's how we create magic that's how you manifest your reality it's through your imagination you know that's what it is it's like visualization so i don't know i'm just realizing that we're not as alone as we think and we can connect with the all at any point, you know, you can connect with your higher self and other aspects of yourself at any point. In fact, that's what the deities are, like the ancient gods and things, they are aspects of yourself because it's talking about a certain archetype, a certain part of a personality or a, a type of energy, you know. So like, you can tap into all of these things at any point. So how could you ever be alone? <laughs> we are not alone so yeah i hope this video kind of helps someone if you're feeling a little bit isolated just know that you really aren't you know and you came here for your mission and whilst you have to do your mission on your own like it can feel like you're doing it on your own you're really not because every single person that you you may not even be aware of their existence but they're contributing to the same mission you know like we're all here trying to raise the vibration of this planet trying to raise the frequency raise our own frequency like how we raise the vibration of the planet is by raising our own frequency we have to raise us first you know because then that shines the light and it triggers everyone else into remembering too you know if all of these videos didn't exist talking about consciousness if all of these people hadn't gone online and started creating and putting the information out there we would still be back in the dark ages of complete hidden like we wouldn't know anything we wouldn't know who we are we wouldn't have remembered so the fact that the internet exists and all of this information the fact that i'm able to sit here right now and pull out my phone and just film this video and put some information out there you know like all of us doing this we're all contributing to it so you're not alone we're all in this together and we're all doing the same thing it's all a part of the same journey and same path so yeah <laughs> i'm going to go now but i hope you all have the best day and don't forget to check out the description box below for all the links to my music and links to social media and everything and you can you can whatsapp me i'm going to put my number in the description box below as well so i'm trying to like build community and stuff because again it feels very very separated and isolated so my dms on instagram are always open and twitter 
but you can also WhatsApp me. And I do have a private Instagram group for just people that are on this path. You know, I feel like the more of us that can connect, especially because a lot of us are spread out across the world so much that we're like, we're being born into communities where people are asleep and we're like the only one that's on this trying to like force ourselves to wake up you know to this intensity so it can feel really isolating so I want to build all of these communities where we can connect and we feel comfortable and safe enough to connect with each other and just support each other because this shit is hard work you know (laughs) so yeah just check out the description box below and all links will be there and I will see you in the next video love always pull it down